Solve each trigonometric equation over the domain where x is between 0 and 2 pi. In part a, solve 2 sine squared x minus cosine x minus 1 equals 0. So far in this lesson, we've been working with trigonometric proofs. In a trigonometric proof, operations across the equal sign is not allowed because we want to show that the left side equals the right side. We will now work with trigonometric equations. The goal of a trigonometric equation is to solve for the unknowns that make the equation true, and operations across the equal sign are allowed. Rewrite the equation. Rearrange sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to get sine squared x equals 1 minus cos squared x. Replace sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. Multiply the two through the brackets. Simplify and reorder the terms. Multiply both sides by negative 1. We have the form 2a squared plus a minus 1. This factors to 2a minus 1 times a plus 1. Factor to get 2 cos x minus 1 times cos x plus 1. Solve 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0. Isolate cosine x. The solution is x equals pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Now solve cos x plus 1 equals 0. Isolate cosine x. The solution is x equals pi. Combining the solutions, we have pi over 3, pi, and 5 pi over 3. The x-intercepts of the graph match the solutions of the equation. In part b, solve sine x equals secant x cotan x. Rewrite the equation. Rewrite in terms of sine and cosine. Cancel. Cross multiply. Bring all the terms to the left side of the equation. We have the form a squared minus 1, which factors to a plus 1 times a minus 1. Factor to get sine x plus 1 times sine x minus 1. Solve sine x plus 1 equals 0. Isolate sine x. The solution is x equals 3 pi over 2. Now solve sine x minus 1 equals 0. Isolate sine x. The solution is x equals pi over 2. Combining the solutions, we have x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The points of intersection match the solutions of the equation.
In part c, solve 2 tan squared x equals negative 3 secant x. Rewrite the equation. Bring all the terms to one side of the equation. Rearrange 1 plus tan squared x equals secant squared x to get tan squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. Replace tan squared x with secant squared x minus 1. Multiply 2 through the brackets. Simplify and reorder the terms. We have the form 2a squared plus 3a minus 2, which factors to 2a minus 1 times a plus 2. Factor to get 2 secant x minus 1 times secant x plus 2. Solve 2 secant x minus 1 equals 0. Isolate secant x. This is equivalent to cosine x equals 2. There is no solution to this equation. Now solve secant x plus 2 equals 0. Isolate secant x. This is equivalent to cosine x equals negative 1 over 2. The solution is x equals 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Combining the solutions, we have x equals 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. The points of intersection match the solutions of the equation. In part d, solve cos squared x equals sine squared x. Rewrite the equation. Bring all the terms to one side of the equation. Rearrange sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1 to get cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Replace cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. Combine like terms. Bring 2 sine squared x to the other side of the equation. Flip the equation. Divide both sides by 2. Take the square root of each side. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply the fractions. The solution is x equals pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. The points of intersection match the solutions of the equation.